Hello and welcome to the 2012-13 Oilers Basketball Preview. My name is David Buck and I'm joined by head coach Charlie Ernst. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thanks, David. Uh, coach, you know, we're only days away from the start of the season. Uh, how has the team been progressing so far in the offseason? Well, I think uh, the offseason is always important. I mean, a lot of people talk about freshmen become sophomores, but, you know, it doesn't happen by itself. Players have to work at it. And I think the same is true for every class. Uh, I think this summer our players bought in to what it would take. Uh, you know, a lot of our guys were working out four days a week as a team, as a group, making each other accountable. Uh, and then I think in addition to that, our freshmen joined in throughout the summer and, and we were able to create some chemistry uh, maybe before school even started. So I think uh, I like our combination of returning players along with some youth. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's a good combination and so far I like what I see. Good. Now, uh, you know, you guys had a pretty successful year last year in your first year as a head coach. You know, you finished with a 24 and 7 record. Uh, you won the GLIAC tournament, qualified for the NCAA tournament while you, you, know, you went one-on-one -on -one there as well. Um, does that kind of success help you build onto this year? Is there any momentum that's going to be carried over? I, I definitely think there is. I mean, I think it gave us uh, good momentum going into the offseason that we've already talked about. I think our players, uh, you know, tasted that. We had been left out of the tournament the year before. And, and in our program, and, and I think for the hunger of the players, uh, the understanding of what it will take. You don't want to be away from that party for more than a year. And fortunately, we weren't. And we, we not only got in there, but we, we played in one of the most difficult regions in the country. You know, we had to play Northern Kentucky in our first round, then had to come back the next night and pay, play Bellarmine. So I think we got a, a pretty good understanding, our players, of just how good we're going to have to be, uh, not only in our conference, uh, but also on the regional level. So the success we had will certainly be a good starting point for us, uh, both going into that off season and now going forward into practice. Okay. Now, uh, you know, expectations at Finley have always been high. Um, it's not going to be any different this year. Uh, how does your team deal with those expect expectations on a year-to-year -year basis? Well, and I think that's probably one of the careful things. We really don't talk about it much in our program. Uh, I think everyone feels it enough that we don't really need to talk about it. We try to focus on, uh, you know, the things we can control and the things we contro can control are how hard we're working, uh, both within practice, off the floor, uh, every day in practice. We usually just focus on this day, uh, what happened yesterday in practice, how can we make ourselves better, let's do it today. And that's sort of the attitude that we try to instill in our players. And I think it kind of keeps us grounded and keeps us focused on other things rather than expectations. Okay, now you lost a, a senior player in Cal Kaola who was, you know, all conference, all region, GLIAC tournament MVP. Uh, you know, it's gonna be tough to make up for that loss. And I know point guard's a key position for you. Uh, how do you see that all playing out? Well, you know, in, in talking about Kyle, I think one of the things, you know, a lot of people see the points and, and see his athletic ability and, and all the things that he brought. But I think the things that he brought that maybe go unnoticed are his consistency, his durability, uh, you know, some intangible qualities of him uh, that really make a point guard go from here to here. And I think uh, what we have to do is sort of take that uh, position and maybe uh, play it by committee. You know, we've got a, a junior point guard in Sean Samsel, and Sean's played for two years in our program. He understands the expectations that we have at Finley for that position. Uh, and I think uh, while he's a different player than Kyle, he brings some qualities maybe that Kyle couldn't bring. So we have to focus on what he can do. And then I think we've got a freshman point guard uh, in Alfonso Beatty. And Alfonso, even though he's about 6'2", in a lot of ways, he's got some true point guard type qualities. He is a freshman and there's some learning and some experience issues there, but, uh, but he's very steady. And it's, you know, so that will be looked upon uh, by our coaches and, and I'm sure he'll play a prominent role. Now, you know, going through the rest of the roster, you guys have uh, what appears to be some, uh, some good depth, some, you know, some versatility on your roster, guys that can play multiple positions and play them well. Uh, is that tough uh, on a coach 
to find the right combination of the players to stick in there on game day? Uh, I think a little bit. I think it took us some time last year uh, to find that, uh, that unit that could really gel together and maybe take our game to another level. And I think we found that uh, maybe two thirds of the way through the season. Uh, when we did, it, it felt like we, I, I think all of our players, both the guys that started and those valuable players that come off the bench, I think it became a comfort zone for everyone. And I think this year, yeah, versatility can go one of two ways. And we're trying to tailor both what we do offensively and what we do defensively to take advantage of that versatility. And we've got a lot of interchangeable parts. Uh, and I think for us as coaches, the key is to take advantage of it. It's one thing to have it. It's another thing to take advantage of it. Uh, that's what we're working towards. And I think uh, our players understand that. And, and uh, it's important that every guy buys into their role when you have a team like that. Okay. Well, Coach, thanks for taking the time to uh, chat a little Oilers basketball with us. Um, you know, good luck this season. And uh, that concludes the 2012-13 uh, uh, Oilers basketball season preview. Thanks for watching.